Hey guys, what's going on? Dan here. I'm standing in front of the Passport 2521 RL Passport, one of my favorite units. Um, this is actually one that we looked at when we were shopping, but we needed a little bit more space because we had uh, our older son and his girlfriend that tags along with us a lot. I'm gonna take you around for this week's walkthrough Wednesday because I can't find a salesperson anyway. Let's go up, Austin, first. One of my favorite things about the new passports is this front cap. I think this front cap is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a very modern, sleek feel to it, and that's carried throughout with this graphics package. It's just an absolutely beautiful camper. I even love the white. You know, white went out for a while, but white's back in and I love it. Let's go ahead and take a look on the inside, Austin. So here we're standing in the main living area. As you see behind me, we have our fold-out couch, turns into a bed. Actually, it's a pretty comfy couch. You've got the table on that side. You do have plug-ins, USB ports. You have plug-ins, USB ports on this side, so whoever sitting over here isn't left out. They also have a nice little armrest. Looking at the main kitchen, as you guys can see, there's lots of storage. You have storage coming around here, around here. You have some storage below. One cool thing, awesome, I'll make you do some fancy uh, camera work here. The new lights in the stove, and they accentuate that on the floor over next to the entertainment system, as well as underneath the booth. I think that's a really cool feature. Something I would like to see in the future that I think is kind of becoming a trend is being able to change the color of those. That'd be something cool. Nice big U-shaped booth dinette. Turns into a bed also. So you actually have, for a smaller camper, you have a lot of sleeping room. Um, I think this is comfortable for two, three people, four or more, you know, if you've got some friends that want to crash over for the night, great, but you know, those long trips, yeah. Nice size entertainment area. You do have space for your CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, board games, whatever you want to stick down there. Come on back to the bathroom. We actually have a really nice size bathroom. As you see, I'm just a little under six foot tall. I have plenty of room in here. We have our medicine cabinet as well as storage below the sink. Toilet, kind of a necessity in a bathroom. Now we'll come back to the bedroom. Before we get to the bedroom, there is actually some additional storage here in the hallway leading back to the bedroom. You could use this as a closet, an additional closet in the bedroom, or this is a great place to hang your coats, hats, if you're camping later on in the season. Venturing back into the bedroom, as you can see, for a small unit, we still have lots of space. Both Austin and I are in here. We have plenty of room. You have the his and her closets, or as many people like to call them, the hers and hers closets. You have the storage above. You have ample space here for your books, your iPads, your iPhones, your CPAP machines, whatever it is you need to take with you. And you do have the under bed storage, which might be a little hard to see. This unit does come with prep for your cable TV here in the bedroom. So you're able to mount that. And you've got this nice little sliding door here that's gonna segregate you from the rest of the camper when you're trying to get some sleep. Maybe you got some friends out there that aren't ready to quit partying yet. So, hopefully I did a good job. Thank you for watching this week's Walkthrough Wednesday. Leave a comment down below if you have a question. Make sure and hit that like button that's like right there somewhere. And uh, as usual, thanks for watching.